trophy has now allowed former finalists to vote. So I'm wondering if, if Lemon is like lobbying Harris for, a, for one vote, because he's on the one by the list also. That's right. Not a good day on third down for the Cowboys. Fields throws complete, and this is a first down. Got it out to Che Nice, junior wide receiver. And it's a first down, and that quiets the crowd, a pickup of 11. Yeah, at the top of your screen, this guy's getting single coverage. You know, he came in. He's not a marked man. The Woods brothers are, but not Nice. So Josh Field still slinging it here in the fourth quarter. Trying to get in the Oklahoma end zone offensively, something they haven't done yet today. First and goal. Oklahoma State at the OU fire. Tatum Bell on a toss behind his blockers. Got about a yard. Perkins dragging it down. Oklahoma's defense is so fast. You run wide, you better run fast. You got that right. Antonio Perkins, you're talking about him making big plays. A corner. Here's a guy that can tackle, runs across the field, runs by blockers, and makes the tackle. There's a lot of corners out there that can't tackle. I don't think there's any corners on this Oklahoma team that can't tackle. I don't think so either. Second and goal at the three yard line. Ninth play. And the Cowboys ground. Two tight ends. He's going to throw it. This is a good time to throw it. It's Bell. He just grinds down inside the two. That's it, though. And a flag down at the line of scrimmage. Offside, so they'll take that and move it a little bit closer. That should get it to about the one and a half on a free pass. But he must have lined up just lined up. There's the Stoops brothers. <laughs> I was looking at the Vorchek. Yeah, he's got a, <laughs> got a face full of paint. They, they, like it's he Halloween. just it's all right. He just like he didn't didn't uh, clean up his face from last night. I don't think he cares. <laughs> Inside the two second and goal for the Cowboys. Play action. Fields rolling out. He might keep it. He will. Didn't get there. It's good defense. They're nobody straight. Nobody got out initially. Nobody got out as a receiver, and Fields was out there with nobody to throw it to. Josh is not a slow guy. He's a baseball player for Oklahoma State as well. When he finally decides, he thinks he's going to get there. But here's the speed we talked about. Eric Straight said, I don't think so. I'm not this time. And that's not the kind of slide you want to do either. <laughs> yeah, baseball's a lot safer than yeah. football. It ain't going to hit you in that game. Third and goal. Tatum Bell. I don't know. I don't think so. No signal. Teddy Lehman comes up with a football and says he's not in there. Nicholson and Allen. And it's fourth down. Well, that defensive line is better than Oklahoma State's offensive line. So if you're trying to get it in and knock it in, they're gonna they're not gonna be moved back. You gotta move those guys off the line of scrimmage. Then the linebackers are right behind them. I don't think there's any doubt that Oklahoma State's gonna go for it, but the guys in those crimson jerseys don't want to give up a touchdown. 38-9, Oklahoma to give up that two feet of turf in their bedlam rivalry with their friends from Stillwater. Fourth down, Oklahoma State. And it is loud for the offense. Fullback. No! Sooners have held! Mike Stoops can finally smile. <laughs> what a goal line stand. So Oklahoma State's offense still has not scored. I'm not wild about the call because 
when you give it to the front guy, and, and it was a quick count also. It just, you know, you're better off giving it to the second guy. Well, the offense, they don't particularly like the position on the field, but they'll take it. And it's Kiwan Jones bouncing out almost to the five. Somebody gets penetration over here on the uh, on the left side. One of those red shirts. I think that's Harris. 97 gets all the way across the formation. Yeah, he just blew it up. That was uh, looked like it was Harris. Garon Allen and Lehman were there. Yeah. The final two guys to clean up. So that proud group on the defensive front with their linebacking friends stopped the touchdown. Juan Jones plowing off right guard out to about the seven. So between Kiwan and Ronaldo works today. They've done quite a job. They're going to be in that 200 yard category again as a tandem. They've got 168 or so right now together. Well, this is uh, this is the best football team we've seen this year, Brad. You yeah, agree? Yep, yeah, it is. I mean, they're in all phases. So. We've seen Miami, we've seen Florida State, we've seen a lot of them, but we thought this one was the best. And you can watch all the tape in the world, but until you watch them run sideline to sideline on defense and yeah. all the weapons they've got on offense, they're pretty good. Jason White, not complete to Will Peoples. And Peoples down at about the 17. That's where his knee went down. One team that I'm looking forward to seeing is. Uh, USC Southern Cal I know Oklahoma is good that uh, we've seen them now we've seen Miami we've seen Florida State uh, we're going to see Southern California in a couple of weeks Georgia we're going to see uh, probably later on in the season also so by the time the season gets over with we'll be seeing all of the top teams and a lot of you will see that USC team following our game if you're on the West Coast you'll see them against Washington State and that ain't no day at the beach he wants Jones. Yeah, he's just spinning his way for all he can. Let's check in with Swanee. Well, Brad, as we watch the Oklahoma offense move the ball out of their end zone, keep in mind that young man right there is Jeremy Schmidt. He is a director of sports enhancement for Oklahoma, their weight, strength, and conditioning coach. And Bob Stoop says there is no way our football team is ever as good as it has been or can be without the work of that man. When they came in here four years ago, the first time he got these young kids and worked them out, they went through about 30 minutes and there were kids who were getting sick and the whole deal, <laughs> and they were clapping their hands saying, boy, that was a great workout. Jerry looked at him and said, that wasn't the workout. That was the stretch out, stretching and warming up period. And then he began to work in earnest with these guys. He actually has these kids more than most of their assistant coaches in the off season and summer training programs and they have been specifically working on their explosiveness off the ball. And we've seen a tremendous effort by the defensive line and offensive line in that area. They've been disruptive, they're in the backfield, and one of the guys who praises Jerry Schmidt more than anybody else is the guy who's been having a great ball game today, Dan Cody. He says yeah. without his work ethic, without this guy helping him out, he says he wouldn't be the player he is today. You Swan see Coach Schmidt was exhaling, inhaling. He's puffing and huffing and puffing with a 29-point lead. Swanee wasn't, didn't he tell us that uh, he'd been at other schools that had won national championships? Well, he had the full-time director at Notre Dame and at Florida mm -hmm. with Stoops. So we've always given Stoops credit for being a very intelligent coach Wrong. and getting the best people. Misplaced. He did not leave him at Florida. It's because of, uh, it's because of that man right there. He won those championships, maybe. <laughs> well, he, <laughs> put it this way, he says he's an important, he's as important as any other assistant coach he has. Yeah, that's right. Ten minutes and 16 seconds. A very intense sideline from every one of those assistant coaches. A third down and a yard for Oklahoma here with a big lead of 38 to 9. Still have not allowed Oklahoma State's offense to penetrate their goal line. And as it starts to get dark in Norman, Oklahoma, the season is going to be brighter and brighter when this day's over for the Sooners. Ewan Jones got the first down. Lamore knocked him off his pins, but Kiwan keeps it going. 
This might be a day when Kiwan Jones and Ronaldo Works both get 100. Speaking of the BCS, Brad, were you as surprised as I was that uh, Florida State moved up to number three? Uh, I think we all sort of were. Yeah. And now today they're against Notre Dame. The last time we heard they're they're playing like maybe they belong there, but it I don't know. We've, was, we've seen them lose, so. Yeah, I, I was surprised they moved ahead of uh, Southern California. Nine and a half minutes remaining. Jason White to Kiwan Jones again. And Kiwan, another good game. There's the Bowl Championship Series standings brought to you by Allstate. Oklahoma's not going to move. Miami plays Virginia Tech tonight. Florida State winning today, or they haven't yet, but they uh, are very close. Georgia's in a struggle with Florida. USC plays later on ABC against Washington State. I think Ohio State just got beat. Did they? They're trailing. It's not done. Okay. Long ball, Brandon Jones. Got him. Touchdown. There's the long strike we haven't seen yet today. Jason White, almost the same looking play as against Colorado last week. 66 yard touchdown to number 81. from scrimmage this year for Oklahoma. There's a happy quarterback who had a couple of interceptions earlier that sort of tarnished his day, but I don't think he'll worry about them too much. When you've got a defense as strong as this one, you don't have to worry about making too many mistakes on offense. Nick Carlo's extra point is good. Top-ranked Oklahoma trying to pay back their rivals from Stillwater. And they're doing it in a variety of ways today, including the long ball. Oklahoma 45 to 9. Station of Cal